All right, so that's all for today. Um, kind of cool, right? I mean, it, it's neat to see this sort of mapping between the string and the Java object. It gives you a little bit of sense of like, oh, this is, it sort of, it, for me, it almost starts to reinforce my mental picture of, of what Java objects are like and some of the things that happen there. And of course, there's all these really interesting questions about how do you actually serialize certain things to a string, which we saw a little bit when we looked at dates. So um, anyway, uh, that's all for today. Um, and next, so next week, you guys have two very fun weekend homework problems coming up this weekend. And then next weekend, we're going to start with a new topic in object-oriented programming, but really something that actually even extends past object-oriented programming. And that's the notion of interfaces. And this is one, you know, the last couple of lessons, we're starting to see this pattern of connection, right? So connecting to other people's code, connecting to different programs together through serialization. On Monday, we're going to actually start to talk about some formal definitions of like what that connection looks like. What does it mean? What does it encompass? That's what an interface is. It's a place where two things come together. So I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.